channel and welcome to the fifth video in my five part series that I've had on my channel this week. Oh my gosh, it's the last video. I'm definitely going to do this again. If you didn't know though, I've posted a video every single day this week, Monday through to Friday. And today's video is the last video in that series. So hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Comment down below if you want to see more like this. I tweeted out the other day saying I really want to do another series like this. So let me know if you'd be happy to see another one. I'd love to film it. But the last video in my series is actually a DIY backpacks video and matching pencil cases because it's always cool to be matching for back to school. So I really hope you guys do enjoy this video and if you want to see more videos in my back to school series I'll leave some on the screen right here and I'll also leave a link to a playlist down in the description below so you can check that out. So today is Friday here in Australia and I have nothing to do this weekend so I'm gonna be replying to a bunch of comments for you guys so I was like what can I chat to you guys about in the comments down below and I want to know what your best friend's name is because I feel like that's kind of back to school related. You get to hang out with all of your friends at school so I want to know what your best friend's name is. Comment it down below but hopefully guys do enjoy this video and without further ado let's get into the DIY backpacks. So my very first backpacks are super cool because they're all made with fabric paint and I never really thought about this until recently when I was in Spotlight and they had this awesome fabric paint. So all you need is the fabric paint of course and you're also going to need a canvas backpack but you can reuse like an old one from previous years if you want to. So the DIY is super easy in itself. All you want to do is go in and create some awesome patterns on your backpack. So I actually went on Google Images to get some inspiration for my patterns and then I ended up just doing like some stripes and some stripes within those stripes. I also had some like triangles and circles and dots and after a little bit I went in and changed the angle of my pattern so I did some round portions of it as well but the cool thing about fabric paint is you don't have to stick with pattern designs if you don't want to so if you were like super into Pokemon Go at the moment you could even do like a Pikachu on your backpack I'm not actually into Pokemon Go though but comment down below if you are so I'm super happy with how this whole DIY turned out I think it's a really cool way to recycle an old backpack and people won't even know it's an old backpack it literally looks so cool Moving on to the matching pencil case for that backpack, I'm just going to go in and do the exact same thing basically. I'm going to take a pencil case that's basically in the exact same shade as my backpack, so lucky. So I'm just going to go back in with my fabric paint, I'm going to do the exact same design and I just think it looks really cool to have matching school supplies. But if you can't find a pencil case that's the same shade as your backpack then there's no need to worry, I'll leave a link in the description where you can actually just make a pencil case yourself. They're super easy and fabric can actually be kind of cheap too so it's a way more effective way of doing this DIY. Moving straight on to my second backpack, I'm gonna take this black backpack. I actually got this one from City Beach. It's also a canvas backpack and I'm gonna take some watermelon fabric. A lot of people ask me where this is from. It's from Spotlight, how cute is it? But you're also going to need some hot glue for this DIY as well. And just taking your backpack, you just wanna put your fabric down over the pocket of your backpack. And so basically the first step is just making a rough seam around the edge of the backpack, just because you don't wanna just place the fabric onto the backpack's pocket. You actually wanna create a nice seam so it looks really clean cut. So I'm gonna start off by making the seam for the bottom of the pocket on my backpack. I'm gonna just do that by doing a line of hot glue on the bottom of the fabric and then just folding that over. And then to make sure that the size is right on the edges, I'm gonna rule down the sides where the end of the pocket is. And I'm just gonna leave a little gap on either side of that line so I can fold it over and create some more fake seams as well. I didn't actually bother to do a fake seam on the top part just because it overlapped and went under where the zip was so you couldn't actually see it. So I just cut that one off straight off. So at this point, I was just left with a piece of fabric that had a fake seam at the bottom of the fabric and then I just wanted to go and make fake seams for the other two sides of the fabric leaving the top open so I just did that with the hot glue I drew a line folded it over on both sides and now I'm good to go and actually glue this piece of fabric onto the pocket of my backpack just taking my hot glue gun I'm gonna trace around the outside of that fabric I've got all my fake seams in place which is really awesome and now I'm just gonna go ahead and actually place a piece of fabric onto my backpack just pulling it all really tightly so none of the fabric is like saggy or anything like that so I started off by gluing that piece of fabric to the bottom portion of the pocket first and then I did the two sides so I could pull it nice and tight and it didn't have any of that saggy fabric. So the last thing that may be left to do is you might have some corners that are like poking out at the bottom of your pocket so all you want to do is take a little bit of glue, put it on those corners and then just press them upright, hold them for about 10 or so seconds and once you're done they'll be stuck upright and your backpack will be complete. I also made a matching watermelon pencil case. So if you want to see how to do that, make sure to check the links down below. It's so easy to make. It's honestly just a piece of fabric, a zipper and some hot glue. 
that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. And if you did, let me know which one was your favorite backpack. I would probably have to say the fabric paint one, just because like it's bright and colorful and I'm all about color. If you did enjoy this video though, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And also don't forget to check out the playlist down in the description so you can see all of my back to school videos. I'd love for you guys to check them out. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below letting me know what your best friend's name is. I'm so excited to chat to you guys in the comments today. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and I'll see you guys in my next one.